Good guys, my name is Lord Tomo, here again with another Sonic the Hedgehog toy item collective review. As you know, I am Lord Tomo. Look at the little blues to here, good old Sonic. He wants to mail something. No, Sonic. No. So, we're going to be reviewing something that I've had for quite a while. I actually wanted to review this, um, uh, I guess, sooner, but I've semi kind of had it in storage slash back ish display. If, you can, if that's really the word, I'll show you what it is. It's pretty sizable, as you can already see, as it is. But the story behind this, more or less, I picked this up, I think, uh, I don't know, a year or two back, maybe, three years, I don't know, thereabouts, and um, I don't know why I picked this up, to be directly honest with you, not a major fan of the actual, uh, I guess, um, you know, box itself, let alone the item, but I got it for a semi-bargain, I actually um, picked this up on the assumption that it only came with the box and the, you know, the little, I guess, recorder, cassette, the sing-along cassette recorder, however it came with actually everything, you know, all the um, little bits and pieces, so I figured, you know what, it's it's alright, I'm not going to complain, you know, I got a pretty cheap-ish, if you can really say, um, so I guess let's go to review, <laughs> as you're probably already, um, already know, not a huge fan of this, but, you know, you got to take the good with the bad, right? As you can already tell, this is a Sonic the Hedgehog sing-along cassette recorder. Hurrah! Uh, yeah, not a big fan of it. Now, so to me, just before I start describing the actual, you know, the box and everything else, I um, mean, the actual, you know, context of this item, so to me, he's basically a vibrant character and his universe is vibrant. Not exactly with Metal Sonic, Dr. Robotnik, and all the enemies, of course, who are trying to make it anti vibrant. But the overall, uh, I guess, overall arc, both comics or the game, is that it's a vibrant ish sort of universe, colorful. Majestic, beautiful, all those sort of work, um, all those sort of uh, you know metaphors and whatnot. Um, this box does really sell it, sell it on it. It's probably one of those items that was actually mass produced back in the 90s, just to you know make a quick buck. And if you have a good popular character like Sonic and pass it onto the actual toy item itself, congratulations, you get yourself a sale. Unfortunately, this is not doing it for me at all. But here we go. This is predominantly red. Why? Beyond me. Sonic the Hedgehog is predominantly blue. Why did you mess that up? But I guess that's what they did. Um, at the very bottom you just have a picture of Green Hill Zone or you could say it's a special zone for the better of the word and you just have a picture of good old Sonic the Hedgehog as seen in the hit video game by Sega and it comes with one year's warranty. This has expired. This was released in 1993 thereabouts so pff, this doesn't work anymore. Uh, you can already tell what it is, Sonic the Hedgehog. Obviously the standard logo for Sonic the Hedgehog and you just have a picture of the actual item itself. At the very bottom, you just have Consumer Product Safety Commission, the ASTM approved. And it's ages four and up. Um I'm not a hundred percent sure of the manufacture of this, but uh, it's in one of the pamphlets inside, which I'll suss it out once I take it up. So that's actually the front. It doesn't really sell it to me, to be honest. Uh, the, uh, the colors is dull. It's not vibrant at all. The the actual design of the actual toy when I take it out, it's it's dull. It's you know, to be honest, I wouldn't I wouldn't spend too crazy amount of money on this. I got this. I'll say this straight out of the bat for roughly forty bucks or up. So you know that's if it was going for a hundred or something. I would just pass this, but you know, I had nothing to buy back then, so that's why I got it. At the actual back, you have obviously more of it. Sonic the Hedgehog, Gara, what does it say actually? Garbaradora de Acompa, I'm guessing that's Spanish, French, I don't know. Uh, you have more stuff. Um, this is in a different language. No surprises. <laughs> so this is in a different language. I do find, you know, you have Dr. Robonic, pretty awesome. He looks like he has buck tooth right there. And you just have, to say the least, a retarded tails. So not a big fan of that. At the very bottom, he has absolutely nothing. On the actual other side is actually what it is. Sonic the Hedgehog single long cassette recorder. Play record, you can pause this, you can read it, have fun, I'm not gonna bore you. You have good old retarded tales and you have good old Dr. Eggman. At the actual top, you just have, you know, once again what it is. So overall, the, the back and the front is exactly the same. <sighs> the box does not sell it to me. If I was a parrot, which I'm not, but if I was a parrot, I would buy this for a kid, no matter how much he begged me. Because I'm a horrible person like that. 
this is the inside it's in mid condition so I'll take everything out just to show you okay so it comes with a bunch of pamphlets a bunch of pieces of paper which I'll show you of course nothing inside we're just gonna whack this all inside and put this aside this is the actual item itself. Now before I get into it and show you of course what it is and all the fun little stuff with it, I'm going to show you all the pamphlets that it comes with. First and foremost you get, uh, I guess this is an international warranty card, important, please fill out and return within the next 15 days. Can't do that guys. Um, the actual operation I'm guessing they made it is Spectra Merchandising International. How do I know? Well, it's a Spectra Merchandise International. It's from Chicago, if you're from the USA. Chicago. So this is the inside, it's more or less the warranty registration, I guess it keeps it under registration, it tells you a family income, I, why would you want to know the family income, I don't know, it also tells you the limited warranty and service, so this is pretty nice to have if you want to claim warranty, which has already passed, this is the actual, um, I guess, disc, um, I'm guessing, yes, this is more or less the merchandise, basically accessory forms, if you want to purchase more accessories, and all that sort of stuff. The funny thing is, a pair of headphones back then cost about four dollars. The actual speaker mic thingy cost about four dollars. The cassette four dollars. It doesn't come with a cassette, however. There's a charger for ten bucks. There's a strap for two dollars. Damn, this is actually pretty cheap. Just to show you how much things will cost. Well, what's our iPhone charger now? Like fifteen bucks. So there's that. This is probably one of the most interesting little things. It's just a massive, massive, massive you know, instruction manual. I don't think even the most eloquent enough or the most well-educated little kid that loves reading books is going to bother reading this. So this is the, the kind of the manual, which is okay, I suppose. This is what it is. It comes in a plastic bag. Let's look at the plastic bag. Hurrah! Now I'm going to take, uh, you know, I'm going to take it out anyway. Might as well do it, cause what I do, I do. There we go. This is the actual item itself. Once again, doesn't actually sell it for me. I don't know why. Maybe I'm seeing this from a biased adult point of view, and I guess, you know, um, that's probably my opinion from a biased view. But to be directly honest with you, there's been a lot of modern Sonic toys out there which have actually dig both through the aesthetics of how it looks and through, both with the packaging. I absolutely love it. So I don't think it's the fact that I am an adult that really justifies this. I really do feel this is a boring actual toy itself. <sighs> but, you know, as per the norm. So what makes this a Sonic item? I kid you not, all you have is the word Sonic the Hedgehog. You have a picture of Sonic the Hedgehog there. And that is about it. If they removed it, this is just your standard single long cassette player. Yup. So yeah I, uh, let's I guess let's rock and roll you have a handle per the gnome you, you can hold around pretend you're singing nothing to them you have buttons here which is at the top after you can tell from ejected it has a stop eject fast forward rewind play and record so that's obviously that fast forward thing thing blah blah so those are all the buttons pretty colorful uh, mediocre at best not nothing doesn't scream out you have the power sign, and if you inject it, funny enough, as per mid condition, it even comes with this little radio cassette thingy, majiggy, meh, meh, doesn't really do it, you put the cassette in and you can record, it says auto stop, ooh, not really auto stop, once you reach, if anybody knows anything about cassette players, you once you reach it to stop, it just, well, stops, this is the part where you just pick up the handle, and you can actually turn and on and off, through the switch here. Of course, you turn it on and you can sing away. Hello, this is Lord Tomo. I'm going to be singing YMCA. And uh, I'm going to be in the voice of One Direction. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty much it, really. At the actual back, you have obviously the mega speaker, which pumps up the sound. Epic! And per the, I guess, accessory shape, you want to buy a charger for it, you can purchase it separately through the order form, which most likely doesn't work anymore. And you have the serial barcode there. And it's Spectra. I do believe this is, yep, it has an earphone jack if you want to hear yourself. Not the best item if you want to encourage your kid to sing 
but this is the actual item I don't know what more to really say to be directly honest it's not an item I would buy for myself for no more than $40 expensive as but it's a keeper maybe if you're a collector these sort of stuff rarity oh look I'm gonna be directly biased here it's got years on it it does I'm not gonna say it doesn't it's got about plus about 20 years on it mid condition all that sort of stuff stuff I just don't feel that this is worth collecting per se for any hardcore collector or just a modern collector unless you're into vintage cassette players I guess this really sells it for you guys how for me it doesn't really sell it for me for whatever reason I just mm, just I have this in storage for obviously a reason two reasons right a I don't have the room and B it's not something I want people to come into my room and say hey look that's an awesome cassette player because <laughs> 10 out of 10 times they're not gonna say it 40 bucks I wouldn't expect anything more than that if you do I guess you're maybe a bit religious in terms of your collecting totally up to you I'm this is just me my personal opinion take this and you know as a grain of salt rarity look I'm probably gonna look if you're a hardcore cassette player this is a vintage cassette player this is a 10 out of 10 if you're a mediocre you know collector of both sonic and vintage 5 out of 10 out of thing if you're uh, 5 stars out of 10 if you're just a passive general collector who want to pick up some more rare items here and there, maybe best 2 out of 10 stars if you're lucky. I could be wrong. Guys, if you're out there, if you're watching this, tell me what you think. If you like it, you hate it, totally up to you. Thank you guys for actually uh, taking the time to watch my review slash hate slash review slash ugh, disappointment. But if you have any questions, any any comments, anything, drop me a line. I'm more than happy to help you out. And wait to uh, next week for another Sonic the Hedgehog review. Anyway, guys, thank you and speed on.